Welcome to this week's session with the Putnam County District Library, Guiding Ohio Online Grant. This week we are going to look at a site called Instructables. Instructables is simply found at the address www.instructables.com. Um, what you will find here is that you can learn how to make things, that the things shown are made by you, so they're made by um, different individuals. You will see um, a little bit of a variation and a difference um, based upon who it is that has submitted information. And then lastly, you'll just be able to explore all the different projects by categories. So if we take a look here, what we're going to find is you will go to instructables.com, log in, and create an account. When you create the account, you're going to have a default username. Um, you can create an account using a Facebook, Google, or um, simply an email account. You will put in what is your role. That's why I have that shown here. You can um, pick any of these and then simply need a country as well as um, your age. A again, age is based on the fact of you being um, not a minor. And so you need to put in a birth date that obviously um, puts you at an old enough age to be able to submit and use the site. So if we go to Instructables, this is by Autodesk, and you'll see their advertisement, similar to what I had said on the previous screen about step-by-step, -step, made by you, and then they have it as your ha a happy place. I am currently logged in. You can see that up here in the corner. And then what you have is you have your projects that you um, can explore here at the top. And then it is sorted by, notice I have circuits, workshops, crafts. So these are items and things that have been and are of interest to myself and then what I can do is is I can go up here to new and when I go to new um, what I can do at this point is is I can actually create my own if I had a project that I made I simply would add the file information in here uh, a picture title my project, select the category that it would go into because I have all of these different categories here. Notice these are simply the categories that I have chosen. Um, there's more and I'll show those here in a minute. I do an introduction, the supplies, and so forth. I just go on down the page here and then as I want, I have step one, I can continue continue adding steps to my project and then I would simply publish my project. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to out of this and just go to the main screen of myself logged in and you'll see what I have here are my different categories and I can also search by my author. I do not have any authors added but if I find, find someone that I uh, particularly like and enjoy the projects that I see with them, I could add by author as well. My categories and all following are this are basically the same here in terms of what you're going to see. But what I wanted to show you is here is if I go to custom feed, when I go to custom feed and click on this, what happens is, is it's going to go out here scrolling and I can then add and change my particular um, feeds that I like and find useful for myself. So I can go across here the top and let's just say um, I want to click on um, cooking, for example. Notice I have check marks on these particular items. These are the ones that I have found of interest, but maybe, you know what, I also, I want to add in here, uh, let's just say desserts. Notice I change that over. Now 
that is one of my categories. I could do the same thing with salad. And then, then if I click on it again, it will take that away. So I can just simply say done. And now those have been added to what are my feeds that I follow. I also wanted to show you back here, um, for example, now remember I said that these are projects and things that are made and uploaded by individuals. So I want to show you here with how to cook uh, rice in an air fryer, for example. This individual has put that in, the information in, and then as I scroll down, what I see is I see my supplies, I see the air flyer information, so forth and so on. And I even have a video that is included that would play showing how to go about with making rice in an air fryer. So that is, and I can follow that up here at the top. I can save as a PDF. Notice I have my little heart here because I, I favorited the, um, this particular one. I'm going to go back here to the screen again. And um, there was another one here I wanted to show. If I go, let's go back one more, uh, go back one more screen here. And I wanted, wanted to make note to you how, again, like I said, it is in, the, it's in, individuals and that what they upload and put available. So I notice here how I can go to doing this with this frame and I, this one was from Hobby Lobby. So when I click on this, they've actually made it so that it's going to go out and it'll go to Hobby Lobby site in terms of where and what they purchased. So it's totally customizable based upon who is creating the project and who is uploading and how much and information as well as pictures that they include. So on the rainy days or projects that you might have around the house and you think you want to just take a look, you can go in, check out the different um, categories, find whatever project you might want and give it a try. Hope everyone has found this helpful and useful and we'll see you next week.